News Talk 1230 WFVA Time 808 this morning. I'm Ted Schubel. We welcome to the program this morning from Germanic Community College, the Dean of Professional and Technical Studies, Bill Figge. Bill, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me today. Good morning, everyone. Have you um, been at Germana a while? Been at Germana seven years. I started as a speech faculty member for one year and then uh, became a Dean of Instruction at the Fredericksburg area campus. And we've recently undergone a, a transition where now I'm the Dean of Professional and Technical Studies and we also have a Dean of Arts and Sciences and a Dean of Nursing and Health Technologies. So you've been along, all along with the ride that the ride that Germana continues to have as far as, as growth goes. A lot of growth. Fastest growing community college over the last five years and it, it's been an exciting ride. Very busy. I, I know there's there's talk in funding and in, in hopefully if funding comes through about expanding the, the, the Fredericksburg area campus. I guess that I would think with this area that's needed. Absolutely. Uh, phase three uh, is, is in process right now. Actually the architects have, have been working on the development of the building and if we can get a little more funding this building will become a reality. Uh, the, the plans right now are for it to be an engineering uh, in a science building. Uh, we need more lab space and, and it's an excellent opportunity for our students in this region to have that third building. Besides hoping to have it ready tomorrow, when, when would you like to have it, have a building like that ready? To, to yesterday yeah. uh, actually is when, when we wanted it. Um, I, I, hopefully in the next two, three years uh, we would be able to have, have this building up and running. Uh, looking to have it as a green building, uh, even having a, a, a green roof where perhaps some of our horticulture classes would be able to do things off of the roof, growing plants and uh, it's just an exciting project. And, and with uh, with uh, Germana reaching out into Stafford County, there's there's just there's there's a lot of growth right now. That's right. We have over 650 students who have started at our Stafford Center, which uh, just opened this fall semester, uh, with a lot of general education courses: your math, your your science, uh, English, history. Uh, we have there, and and so that started off very well. We've uh, expanded our enrollment in Culpeper as well. And then, of course, we have our sites at, at Locust Grove and Fredericksburg that are booming. And also, we offer classes at GEICO. Uh, we have a business core uh, curriculum at, at GEICO that um, their employees can take, as well as anyone else in our community can take the classes at that facility. You know, one of the things that Germana has been able to do, and along with a lot of other community colleges, but especially in this area, we're reaching into the high schools in a, in a program called Dual Enrollment that really helps the student and, and, and families. Dual Enrollment is a fantastic program. It saves students and families a lot of money where essentially they're enrolled at the high school, uh, but also they're, they're a Germana student. Uh, the students take uh, compass tests and you know, they can get a, a certain score on that compass test which qualifies them for college level work. And so working in collaboration with the high schools, ensuring that the faculty member has the, the qualifications for a, usually the master's degree with a minimum of 18 hours in the subject area. And when a faculty member has that, we're then able to offer specific classes through dual enrollment. So these students get college credit while in the high school. Uh, therefore, uh, once they graduate from high school, they could have anywhere from three uh, credits to some students in the state have finished their associate degree before they finished their high school degree. And we're not at that point yet, but that is an area where over the next five years or so we would, we would potentially like to grow. Wow, and I always tell we were talking before the with the program here about just that I can, as a parent, can personally thank you for this program. I, I would think that it, it helps the students not not only just the basic the, the money you save, but I would think that students who take this would have a lot of confidence when they go into college because they've already done the work. They're doing college level work. The the learning outcomes, and we're working very closely with this. It's important that we're able to to state what students are learning when they come out of a class. And so use English 111, which is your basic English composition course. The learning outcomes for English Composition 1 are the same for every faculty member who teach English 111, uh, at, whether they teach it at Germana, whether they teach it online through Germana, whether they teach it in the high school uh, through Germana, and, and also the high school. So the learning outcomes are the same. So if you finish that particular course, it's not that you've taken a high school class uh, only and we give college credit. You have taken a college credit for which you then get the high school credit as well as the college credit. And the thing we, we've talked on this show with, with various people, a, a lot of the things, it's not I, like a, a stigma of thinking, oh, it's, it's Germana. But uh, we've talked, and I know a number of people who've taken classes at Germana and then gone on to universities in the state and say that the programs that they're taking at Germana 
are tougher or as tough we should take at, at a UVA or a Tech? Absolutely. Our faculty get to know the students. Uh, our average class size uh, depends on the, on the exact location, but we have about 21, 22 students uh, per class. And when you have that kind of, of rapport with your students, uh, the faculty can get engaged with what the students are interested in. And so discussions can occur in a class instead of just a straight lecture, and that's part of the learning-centered approach that we're attempting to take is, you know, how, do, how are faculty engaging the students and working with them to help them meet their, their personal and professional goals, as well as, most importantly, you know, the learning outcomes for the specific course in which they're taking. If someone's interested in, in dual enrollment, is that something they should uh, talk to their school counselors about, or can they contact Germana? Absolutely, talking to the school counselors. Uh, Kenise Graziano is our coordinator of, of dual enrollment, does a fantastic job. She was actually at Mountain View High School last night at, a, at, at an event that they had there, and she travels to the various uh, school districts or high schools and, and talks to parents uh, and students uh, about the program, uh, and certainly uh, you know, we're, we're always going to talk about dual enrollment. We'll be at the career fair at, at, at the town center. I believe that's October the 22nd, 21st or 22nd uh, in the evening. Uh, and, and Kenise will be there that night as well to talk about dual enrollment. Uh, and, and certainly you can contact the college and ask for her. Uh, and you could also ask for me. We're more than happy to talk to parents and students about dual enrollment opportunities. Bill Fitty, the Dean of Professional and Technical Studies at Germana Community College with us this morning. We're going to take a quick break and come back and talk about a program. Germana has an uh, engineering program with a cooperative engineering program with UVA. 815 on News Talk 1230 WFVA. Cool. You're a great guest. Oh, well, thank you. Appreciate you making me feel comfortable. First time. I did some play by, uh, I got to do, for our women's basketball team, I worked at Longwood. For oh, a while. yeah. I yeah. got to do the play by play for the women's basketball one year. Oh, cool. That was awesome. Yeah. That was yeah. really exciting. But it's been a while since I've been eight years, eight, nine years. <laughs>